Hey everybody, it is JPT back with another episode of Timber and Stone. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing really great. And we're here just doing what we're doing. The boar was slain. I like checking in on my archer. Uh, now that he's pretty much got what he needs, let's go ahead and hunt sheep. Let's not worry about those berries just yet. He got his knife. And essentially the knife... Now that he's got rid of his bow as well, the knife is just, uh, to me, uh, an easier tool to maintain because bows and arrows, you kind of want to keep those with your archers, whereas a knife, pretty much you can kill, as far as I know, all the uh, potentially domesticated animals with the knife. So we're just going to keep on keeping on with that, and uh, maybe we'll get somebody to come in and trade for those said knives and get ourselves some some money for that stuff. So let's just keep on keeping on with what we're doing here. Kind of a slow burn series. You know, I try to... I've been cutting together the episodes a little bit, but uh, sometimes things just happen the way they do. And you just do what we're doing and go from there. So this is giving us a good portion for metals. Provides 30. Uh, we got plenty of masonry now. We got enough wood to last us days. Wheat, uh, I'm not terribly concerned about at the moment. What we might do, I don't know why I paused it, just natural, of course. Food and seeds, we got a food barrel, which of course takes an ingot, or just a food crate, which provides 15. Um, I would be okay just building that, like, here in the middle. Kind of makes sense. It's good for seeds, right? Yeah, food and seed. Um, you know, I even thought about putting them on the edges, but I think for now, we'll just build one there. Who builds that? The carpenter? Yeah, so we'll just keep doing that, and uh, this way now the miners have a shorter distance to go as well, which works for me. So all good things going on here. Go ahead and have them dig that. I'm hoping, not necessarily by the end of this episode, but hopefully soon... <laughs> Rather than later, they're done digging all this out. And I'm hoping it's all stone. Because we could keep the sort of the first level, this stone texture, and go from there. Sheep is slain. Sheep is slain. That's going to be a hard one to say. Let's watch them get that stuff. Go ahead and drop that. So yeah, getting wool. All sorts of good stuff now. Animal hides. So we could probably start getting into the business of getting armor ready anytime soon. And we'd probably be better off for it. Looks like that cotton's growing pretty good. Iron ore's beyond their skill. Not objects. Construction, train, grass. Let's go ahead and mark those like a latch. We got another slow walker here because their encumbrance is at 12. Let's just put that back at 10 again. That wheat storage is going to keep bothering me until we get that carpenter on there. Let's see. Carpenter, Christina Pick, Rebecca. We know Rebecca. We'll go ahead and have her move away from mining for a hot second to not only build that, but probably also this, right? No, that's a stonemason that does that. Who does this one? Carpenter. So she'll be able to build some stuff here. I don't know what she's doing exactly. Okay, so she's building this resource crate. Let's see which one jumps up. It should be this one. Yeah, so now we have 80. And uh, what is she going to build now? Oh, yes, this. And when she's done with that, we could probably have her go ahead and just build that as well while she's at it. Perfect. Oh, she's crafting the herding crook. Okay. I guess if we don't have one, we might as well... Yep, we might as well have her do it. And she's just doing the maintaining part of it, which is why I'm pretty sure it doesn't show up in the queue. Don't take my word for that. So she's emptying the inventory there. And she's crafting a club now, which I'm okay with. So we're not going to quite switch her until I feel pretty comfortable with 
the resources that we have. Now, I don't know how many clubs I told them to maintain. Oh, at least two. Okay. So she's working on those. So it's not crucial to me. Wait, so we built that. So does it not store seed? Hmm. Food and seed. Oh, food is separate than wheat. Duh. Because uh, wheat obviously has its own thing. Yeah, wheat has its own storage. For a hay pile. That's a rather big hay pile. <laughs> Yikes, that's big. Which I guess makes sense. In real life, it would be probably pretty large. Um, so we'll have to probably tuck that away back here. When push comes to shove. <gasps> Wolf has been spotted. No! No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. So how far away are you? From our house. Oh, boy. And where's the wolf? There's the wolf. Can you see him? He's there in the shadows. He's there in the shadows. Flash. <laughs> Hmm. Now what are you doing? You're hunting that boar. Nah. Let's get you home. Let's get you home. Let's see what this wolf is doing. We can just barely see him. Kind of following us. Uh-oh. He's gone now. That's not good. That's not good at all. I wonder if we should get an archer ready. Which is the person out in the middle of nowhere. Oh boy. Are you boy? It's not good. Um how about let's get Jillian on board. Wait, did I turn you into a forger on accident? Yes I did. I meant to turn you into Oh well you're not an archer. <laughs> that was silly. Why was I looking at this thinking that was the stat for it? This is the stat for it. So Chloe, or heck, even Allison, is pretty good at that. That fire can wait. Wait. You're not going to shoot the wolf? Oh no, I need to tell him to charge the enemy. And there's two wolves there, actually. Oh gosh! Were you actually meaning to shoot that one? Okay, well you got that one. And, and you're going after him, too. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we killed him. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so your health is still okay. This menu's so big. Okay, nice. Ooh. And you're just... <laughs> that's awesome. Rebecca's like, well, screw you. I'm just going to build a club right on top of your face. Let's gather those resources first before we dispose of the corpse. And um, I guess we have a individual that'll do that. Nope, we don't have a forager. Uh, although we do now. Boom, shakalaka. That is Alden. Wonder if we'll get another merchant anytime soon. Can't remember the stipulations on that. I can't remember a lot of things if you haven't noticed. You can kind of see too where the paths have been worn down. I really like that mechanic. I really like it. Okay, level 8. So, is anybody really close to level 8? Yes, Christina, you are. Mm, you've got a ways. So, once we do that, I mean, we're going to be we're gonna be rolling in that iron. Just fine by me. So, yeah, Rebecca's being the stonemason. Crafting those picks. Once she does that, I think it's going to be time to start making... Um, brick. And so we'll eat into this really fast. Um, so we know we're just going to need a ton of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually have her make like... Oh man. 160? I mean that's not even close to being right. Let's do 200 actually. I almost want to do 300. Because it's almost... 
tr like, you know, 9 divided by 3. Let's do 300. I mean, we're going to use them. I mean, we know for sure we're going to use them. Plus, it's going to help reduce those down. Yeah, level 4 stonemason. She's just going to murder <laughs> what we have left here. So we'll just keep brick at the bottom. Okay, a wolf has been spotted. There he is. Right there. Perfect. Let's kind of split the difference between you two. Shoot him. Charge the enemy. There we go. Wow, so you, uh, you lost a little bit of health. You, my friend, lost a little bit of health as well. Which kind of sucks, but hey. Is what it is. Um, and you can go back to being a forger. So again, wolves making an appearance. Not thrilled about that, but... Hey, better to get rid of them and send somebody out there to find them rather than just have them lurk in the darkness and uh, potentially kill us <laughs> on their way back. Let's go ahead and have you to build that dirt. So eventually the walls are just going to get like bigger and bigger and bigger. Probably in the next episode, uh, what I may just do is double check the uh, textures and stuff so that way I know which kind of bricks I want to build. And we'll focus on building on the outside just to kind of get that theme going uh, here along the front. And then uh, I may map out kind of like sand with sand, like what I want, where. And uh, you'll be able to see that and we'll be able to kind of go over it. I'm thinking we'll probably do some sor sort of circles, your traditional castling look. And then go from there. So, you know, we'll have like a tower here, maybe one here, that kind of thing. Of course, uh, some fancy stuff back here as we go on. But, uh, yeah, let's build this bed and see what happens. I assume one of these fine individuals will take care of the bed for us. Although, what are you doing now? You're requiring the gathered... Or gathering required items. Which, what are you gathering? Okay, you have corn seeds. Which I'm assuming you're getting rid of and you're picking up the wheat. Okay, perfect. Which again, we would have a stockpile of if it was necessary. So boom, got ourselves a bed. Chicken was slain. Important. Let's go back here. Um, so Allison, you are injured. And right now, this is a new mechanic I've never messed with. Uh, rest when injured, and then of course rest when health is below 80%. And I don't know if, is that 80, below 80%? That's hard for me to tell. I almost wish that uh, that was listed somewhere percentage-wise because how are we supposed to know? I mean, I'm going to do 90% just to be safe just because I'm not sure. And we know somebody else is injured. So, uh, Selfina. So one of them is going to get into the bed before the other person at this rate. I'm not sure who that is. You? No, you're emptying the inventory. Wow, you are fast. Probably because, yeah, you're carrying a ton of wood. That's why. Okay, so somebody's already in the bed. So Selfina is in the bed. Her health is here. We're on the double speed mode. You can kind of see that it's building up. A merchant has arrived. Sweet. Just in time. So he is on the west side. So he's actually not going to take as long. Hopefully Selfina's not our... Traitor? Nope, okay. Christina is. I was about to call quits on this episode until I saw... And roll in. Alright, here we go. What do you got for us? He's willing to buy one leather for one coin. Nah. Look at that, that jumped that really high. 17 fat for one coin? Heck no, dude. 
Yeah, these are not good trades. Willing to buy five animal hide for two coin. I don't think I want coins anymore. I think I want to get rid of coins. I don't want coins right now. I want goods. Maybe that's why we told him not to return that off. Where's it at? Yeah, I don't want to buy coins. Willing to buy 169 wheat for four coin. Well, I will accept that. Now, masonry is the only thing in trouble. Okay, well, I guess he was already locked in. Willing to buy five seedling for coin. Yeah, your deals are much better now, now that you saw that I was not willing to do that. We cannot afford the sabatons. What are sabatons? How much did you want to sell them to us? Uh, probably for a lot. That's all right. Willing to sell 24 twine for five coin? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a deal. That is a huge headache. Yeah, see, I don't... Almost makes me think that I shouldn't have even done that. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're a builder. You're just hanging out. How about you go mine? Get out of our faces. Let the adults do the work here. Okay, and you're done. So you have a ton of stuff in your inventory, right? No? Well, what are you doing? You're eating. Okay. Uh, Christina, so you were... You are a miner, right? Yeah, so go back to mining. Good deal. So we got Twine out of the situation, which I'm 100% okay with. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep on keeping on in the next episode. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing you.